Hello everyone! Today I am just sharing my second piece I did for Mermaid, which I actually posted this piece on my Instagram several days ago, but I don't know, I have just been struggling to find the motivation and time to really sit down and actually edit the video part of it, and normally I try to post the same piece across platforms at the same time, so sorry this video is a bit late, but you know, life happens and if I don't really feel motivated to do something, as this is just really a hobby for me, obviously I will give myself a break and take the time I actually need to feel motivated to do it again. Um, and as I stated in my previous video, my focus for Mermay is going to be jellyfish, as they are my favorite animals. I might do a few non-jellyfish themed mermaids, but for the most part, that is what I want to focus on this month, just because I think jellyfish are so beautiful and so fun to paint as well. Um, the one that I am sharing today is based off of the comb jellyfish, and comb jellies technically aren't jellyfish, they are actually um, chenophores, which I probably completely hashed the pronunciation of that, but oh well. Um, but hey, they are called comb jellies, so that's good enough for me. Deep sea creatures of all kinds have always really fascinated me. It's just so amazing that there's this whole huge part of the world that we haven't really explored, and we keep just discovering all these fascinating creatures, and I don't know, I think I have always just been really attracted to the whole mystery side of things when it comes to the deep sea. Um, and one of my favorite parts, I think, about deep sea creatures is all the bioluminescence. It's just this, such like an ethereal kind of light, and I don't know, I just can't help but love it. Um, I grew up pretty close to the sea, which I think I've mentioned before, and I would just remember going down to the beach really late at night just to see the water when there was bioluminescence in it. Um, and I think it's caused by some sort of plankton or something when it's like in the water like that. I'm not really sure, but it was absolutely beautiful. When the waves crashed on the shore, they would light up, and if you threw a rock in the water, the place where it would land would just explode in this faint glow, kind of like a bioluminescent firework. Um, so because I love bioluminescence so much, I decided to use the comb jelly for this piece. And they are really some of the most gorgeous creatures, in my opinion. I'll try to put a picture of them up if I remember to do so. It kind of looks like they have these little colored lights moving up their body. And it's really quite mesmerizing to watch. And it's actually their cilia that caused that. Um, and comb jellies are actually the largest creatures we know of that can use cilia to move. Not that it's a particularly important fact, but I just found it kind of interesting, I suppose. Anyways, in other news, they did decide to extend the stay-at-home order where I live through the end of this month, at least, so I guess I will be staying home for the rest of Mermay. Um, and with how many times they've already extended it, I don't think I'd be surprised at all if they extended it again after this, so I don't know, we will see. They have at least released their plan on how they will reopen things, and it occurs in like four stages or something, but there has to be at least three weeks between each stage, and of course I wouldn't be surprised if they decided there needs to be more time between stages. Mostly though, I'm just looking forward to the next stage, which is when I can finally see at least a few people. I think there is a limit of five different people per household per week, which, I don't know, it just will be really nice to just see people again. I've... It's just definitely been a lot harder than I thought it would be being home all the time with just my family. I don't know, I've just definitely been struggling with kind of feeling lonely, I suppose. But that's really quite a minor thing in light of everything else that is going on. Um, and this week my summer school started too, so it's back to school work for me. Thankfully, though, it's only one class I am taking, so it really shouldn't be too much. I think what I am most worried about is the fact that I actually have to stay on top of like dates again, because currently I don't even know what day of the week it is half of the time. 
but at least it will give me something else to focus on while I'm still under quarantine. And I don't know, it's... I've definitely found my motivation to get things done has not been too great as of late, so maybe forcing myself to get some schoolwork done will help with that. And also, um, my school did announce recently by email that they are expecting to be back to in-person classes when fall comes around, so I'm hoping that that will turn out because it's my <laughs> senior year and I really would like it to be in-person classes instead of just online. I don't know if it was online, I don't know what I would do. I might take a gap year or something just because I really want my last year of university to be in person and not online. And also, I want to just, I don't know, I just want to be, you know, in my school. So I'm glad that they announced that and I'm excited because I get a single room next year, which will be really nice. Um, I don't know, living with a roommate, my roommate was wonderful. She was really sweet, but I don't know, it was really difficult for me to be living in a space with another person. It just, I don't know, it caused a lot of stress. Um, just because I don't really have a very good amount of social skills, I suppose. So I'm looking forward to being able to have um, one of the single rooms in the dorms instead of the one where it's shared with other people. I'll still be in an apartment, though, with multiple other people, so we'll see how that goes. But hopefully it actually will be in person and I can, you know, kind of go back to somewhat a state of normalcy by then. Um, and my mom has also been working on making masks for people we know and also to donate and it sounds like the hospitals and such are finally accepting donations so I think I might see about helping her with that. I have pretty much zero sewing skills. Like, I sewed a few things before, but I think the best thing I ever sewed was, like, a tunic for a costume, and it was, <laughs> it was pretty bad. The hem was so narrow, you couldn't take a normal step. And my sister, who is quite good at sewing, always teases me about it, so... I don't know, it wasn't very good, but hey, at least it was wearable, right? Um, I'm sure I can at least help my mom cut stuff out and such, though, so we'll see. I'll see about helping with that. Um, and it's kind of funny because, I don't know, people always seem to group art and crafts together. Like, if you can do one, you're supposed to be able to do the other. And, like, I love art, but I am terrible at crafts, and my older sister is the exact opposite. So, I don't really think they go as hand in hand as people think, but... I don't know, that's just my opinion. Um, anyway, so back to the piece I'm working on in this video. I actually had a ton of fun with this one and was kind of happy with the end product for once. However, I definitely struggled a bit with certain aspects of it. For one thing, I was struggling with how to do the skin. I wanted to keep it that kind of lavendery blue that is in the body of the comb jelly, so the whole piece was a bit more cohesive, but I'm not really used to painting blue skin and it was hard to figure out how to do things like the pink on her face without it looking super weird. Um, but I think it turned out okay in the end. After all, it's all a learning process and perfection is not my goal. Um, and I also struggled a bit because bioluminescence is such a subtle kind of light, but several people said while I was working on it that they thought I needed to add more contrast between her and the background, which I try to do to an extent, but bioluminescence itself isn't really something that creates a huge contrast, you know? And this was my second time using the app I mentioned last time for anatomy references, which I'm pretty sure I said I would link in the description of that video, and I feel like I forgot to do that. So I'll try to remember to link it this time in this video. And if I forget again and you want the link, please just let me know in the comments because I have a really bad memory and will probably forget to- Also, if you have any um, jellyfish themed or even any other type of sea creature themed mermaids you think I should consider doing for mermaid, um, you can definitely let me know because 
I'm always looking for more ideas, and especially currently just because I haven't really been feeling quite as motivated as I normally do, I could definitely use a bit of extra inspiration right now. So if you have anything you think would be an interesting idea for a jellyfish or any fish really themed mermaid, then go ahead and let me know and I'll consider making one because um, I know we're already halfway through May, but I still want to do at least a few more pieces. I have another one I am currently working on, which I won't say too much about that one yet just because it's still very, very rough, but that one I'm having a fair amount of fun with, although it's a little bit of a, I don't know, it's kind of difficult for me to get it to look alright, but we'll see. It's it's still in progress, so hopefully things will, you know, get refined and come together in the end, which I'm sure they will, things normally do, and if they don't, I normally just end up scrapping the project altogether, although I know I should probably push through to some extent so I can actually further develop my skills in those things that I'm struggling with, but I don't know. I think I kind of have this feeling that if I'm not enjoying creating something, there's not really any point to me working on it. I mean, obviously building technical skills and learning from your mistakes is super important, but I do art for fun. I don't do art. I'm not a professional I'm not a professional artist in any capacity. It's not like I make money off of my art at all. And so it's really just a hobby for me. And because of that, I think it means that the whole purpose of me making my art is my own personal enjoyment. And so if I'm not enjoying making a piece, then why even make it? I mean, other unless it's specifically for a study or something, but most of my full pieces that I do aren't really studies. I might learn a lot f while making them, but I don't make them with the purpose of just learning from them. I make them because I want to make them, and I enjoy making them, and so um, I've definitely scrapped a few ideas along the way, but I should probably just try to finish up a few of them and actually complete a few pieces because I've been doing a lot of starting pieces and scrapping them after probably a few hours of work on them recently, and I don't think that's really a great way to go about doing things because, I don't know, I think it just makes me feel very kind of discouraged when I'm making art because I just have all these like started pieces that I've decided, oh, I don't like that, and so... I should probably just stick to my guns and actually finish a piece, but we'll see. I am was actually pretty happy with this one though, so I think, and the next one I'm working on I'm also currently fairly happy with how it's turning out, although it's still quite rough and definitely needs a whole lot more refinement going on, but I think I'm excited to kind of just see where the rest of Mermaid takes me, because it's really kind of fun to have a specific theme, and I find it so inspiring to see all the other art that other artists are making that are all, we're all kind of focused on this one single theme of mermaids, and it's just so fun to kind of, it, I think it really adds to the whole community aspect of sharing art online, and I think that I'll have to look and see what other kind of art-themed event months there are, because I haven't really looked into it very much, but I've definitely been enjoying actually having an art focus this month, and I would love to do more things like this in the future. So if you know about any um, art-themed months, then go ahead and let me know, because I would definitely be interested in checking those out as well for future things to work on. Um, so anyways, I think that's about it for this video. I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy and just have a wonderful week.